<coughs> Hello again, video number four. This time we're going to add data properties. We explained before that object properties uh, describe relationships between uh, two individuals for data properties, however, they describe uh, relationships between instances or individuals and data values. What this means is, for example, when we create individuals later or instances later, we want to give them uh, data values. For example, if we want to give a course, so we go back to our classes, for example, if we want to give a CS module uh, a name, um, um, uh, um, a certain code or number, or maybe give a, give a lecturer uh, a, lect a, a staff ID, first name, surname, phone number, email address, likewise for the student. When we want to add details such as these, we use data properties. Uh, so, <coughs> for the data properties, similar to object properties, they're all uh, sub-properties of top data property. And as an example, we will go there and create a few uh, data properties for uh, for st for staff and student. So the first one that we're going to create is uh, we'll say add data property and we will call it, for example, first name. First name. And then uh, we go to um, domain and say the domain is this. We want to this. We want this apply to apply to, for example, lecturer. Notice that if we say person, then it will, it will apply to all subclasses of class person. So we say class uh, lecturer. Say OK, and the range, i.e., the value, built-in data types, and we'll say it has a value string and say OK and then we'll add another one that's first name and then last name likewise the domain is class uh, lecturer or maybe we can say person I should have said person maybe for the, for the previous one class person and the range is string again so I need to go back to the first name and maybe modify the uh, the domain and say it's rather person not lecturer so it applies to student and lecturer and then we need to remove lecturer that makes more sense yes and then we go to uh, we, in, we add another one we call it staff ID and this time obviously it will only apply to lecturer so we'll go staff ID we'll give it a domain uh, lecturer and because it's usually an integer, range is uh, integer. Where is integer? Yes. This or this. And then for the student, also we give it a student. We give a student student ID. So go there, student ID. And then domain is student. Notice now we avoid the overlap now. So this only applies to student rather than lecturer. Uh, likewise for the staff ID applies only to staff rather than student and then the range is integer yeah we'll choose this one that's uh, that makes more sense so we'll go just go there and modify this move it and then add range build it a type integer yes we're happy now remember as we said before we need to keep saving and to make sure everything's okay and now you must have come across uh, uh, the reasoner the reasoner just checks the ontology and make sure everything's everything uh, makes sense so we'll try to run our reasoner now and see whether things are making sense so far so start reasoner it's happy everything's okay we can stop it and we'll stop here next video we'll try to add some individuals and make things more interesting Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye now.